morning, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new to my channel, my name is Christine Fugler and I'm currently a professional dancer on board Royal Caribbean's Ovation of the Seas. And in this video, I'm going to take you along a cruise with me. So you're gonna spend the week with me, a seven day cruise. We are currently in Seattle. It is day one of the cruise, it's turnaround day. I'm here with Eve. Hello! <laughs> We're about to get off, go to Whole Foods, and yeah, go spend a little bit of time off in Seattle. Here we are having a little picnic <laughs> in <laughs> Seattle. Everyone's, do not. everyone's gonna think Boggy is such an unhappy person. He frowns in every single video I have. ship. I am literally exhausted. I just told Eve I will end my day right now at 1.45 p.m. But I just want to take a nap and both of us didn't really have the best night's sleep so we're just already ready to go to bed today. We are gonna go up to the deck get some data. That's what we always do when we're in port and we're on the ship so I'm gonna go download some videos. I might need to back up my phone. Just gonna go enjoy some data up on deck seven. says salt of the earth and light of the world it's one of my favorite bible verses but i saw this on like an instagram ad and i thought it was so cute it's a bit thinner than i thought it was going to be actually i thought it was going to be thick still so cute now i can wear it in alaska i didn't have any hoodies before good package day i always love getting packages for about like two-ish hours. I'm nearly done rough cutting my latest video. So it was pretty productive. Now we're going to dinner, to the mess. Eve, how excited are you on a scale of one to 10? Um, maybe like 11 at this oh, point. Oh, I was gonna say six and a half. <laughs> no, if I'm being serious, maybe like, maybe a six. Maybe a six. Yeah, maybe a five and a half. <laughs> I actually got a full plate at the mess today. This isn't too bad. It's burger day, I got some polenta, veggies, and then cheese fries. And I got Eve her favorite chips and gravy. That is the best. And then I got the tomato soup. It's a good day when it's tomato soup. Oh yeah. Hey guys, I'm back in the cabin, and now I'm just getting ready for bed. Just took a shower, and tomorrow is a show night, so just did my full showgirl shave. But I just want to tell you, um, this company, Amiro, sponsored me about five or six months ago maybe and I've been using this little laser hair removal device that they so kindly sent me and it has worked wonders. Yes, they did sponsor me months ago, but I have been consistently using this product and I really, really recommend it. Eve has one as well and she loves it also. So I do want to just like leave a link down below because my coupon code still works and I'm just being genuinely honest, this has changed my life. And now with consistently performing shows, I don't have to 
worry about shaving my legs as often which has been so so nice and it takes me about 10 minutes I do it maybe once every two weeks now or like once every four weeks to any girlies or especially performers out there I highly recommend a Miro I'm gonna put the link in the description it's not even 9 p.m. yet so we're doing pretty good on time and I like to leave myself enough time to kind of wind down and especially before a big show day I like to spend time to just like chill the night before not go to bed too late and be ready to have a tech run tomorrow in the morning so just got news that actually it's not new news but eve is a tiny bit injured so she's going out of one of the dances tomorrow so i I'm going to go in for her for one dance so I'm going to watch the show and just go over her part I'm sad she can't pee in it but I'll be there for her she's also five feet away from me <laughs> <laughs> I've been protecting her don't worry she won't be any more injured than she already is she's looking after me <laughs> also forgot that it's an hour back tonight so it's 9 26 but it's technically 8 which is amazing. Always a good feeling to know we have an extra hour of sleep. Yeah. Especially before a show day. That's scary to be in the middle without the railing there. Oh yeah, it's a little bit scary. Break the back. Ow! And I I'm gonna why steal, I'm probably gonna steal that. Yeah, do it. I don't know what the girl that me boom boom. Leg up, back bend up. Oh, leg you. up, down, double in return. Oh back. my god! <laughs> Why do you do a double? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can do a single. <laughs> I just, you know, <laughs> I just extra. <laughs> I'm gonna change it. Yeah, you can change I'm it. I'm gonna do like a triple. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna do like a triple okay. outside turn. Yeah, for Maybe sure. Maybe four. <laughs> I say. Do that. You're not ready for this. Leg, turn, and then one, two, three, four, turn, two, three, up. Oh! Wait, they're behind. Bow, 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 Oh, that's fine. I'll go up and see. Two, three, four, five, six. Choke Dawson really hard. Five, six. You guys are absolute legends. How do you feel, Christine Kugler? I'm nervous. I have to step up to Eve. That's a, those are big shoes to fill. Well, you know what? 
you've got it in you Thank because you you're so the much. best. Thanks so much. It's a group hug. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Ready for tech run! All right, kind of fuming because I found a duck in the audience, but LJ saw it first, so she took it. I love finding ducks on board. The other day I found one, and then I was so happy about it that I started dancing, and then this guest saw me. She was like, you look so happy, here's another little duck. So that was really fun. That is so good. I'm gonna go back to work. Hey! So we're about to watch Chrissy K do another understudy show. Let's go. Look at her go. Yeah, girl. Okay. Woo! Hey. Look at your cute little jumpsuit. There's Lockie. Let's go. Hey. Just went in for worth it. Um, I have a few things I need to work on and then right now I'm trying to copy some movies and stuff to my hard drive while we're in Tech Run. So Tassie has Bridgerton, some other Disney movies, Polar Express that I want. So we're just transferring hard drive. Alright, now it's lunch time. Today looks like a pretty good day. We've got some black beans and rice, some pasta, baked veggies, chicken. Today I went for some pasta with pesto sauce. My usual salad, some potato salad, and then some fish. I'm about to do a little photo shoot with Claudia. Lachlan is my creative director. He keeps helping my models look right, and he'll like fix the hair, tell them how to pose and stuff. about to head backstage for call time so like I said tonight is a reblock night for me because I'm going into Eve's track for one of the dances I've done reblocks before I've gone into different numbers it's still always like a bit of pressure and I've also made a video if you watch my chaotic reblock day in my life or if you watch my live love legs behind the scenes video 
then you will see everything that's gonna happen tonight. So I'm not going to film today backstage just because I've made so many videos of like behind the scenes stuff and it's all the same. I want to focus and not distract myself by filming and I filmed it before. So you guys can check that out if you wanna see what's gonna be going on backstage today, but I'm going to get back to you guys after the show. So I'll see you after my two shows tonight. All right, we just finished shows like an hour ago, but tonight we have an all crew party. I think it's just for like crew appreciation. There's a party and I'm about to go meet up with the girls. Yeah, go party in the music hall. Bobby's rendition of Des Nude Day. <laughs> um, LJ. That's good. And me? That's it. That's me. Ba, 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 ba. That's Tazzy. Time to go back to the party. Let's go back, back to the party. party. Let's go. We were trying to surprise Eve, but she's asleep. Eve. I had a whole skit plan. I was gonna say that security got called on me and have I'll be walking, but she's sleeping, I understand. <laughs> Just got our Alaskan fudge cookies. I've only heard good things. They're so good. And they're kind of worth it. They're amazing. They're gooey. I feel like I've eaten mine very quickly, but if you ate mm -hmm. too much at once, you'd be sick. If you like gooey cookies, come to Alaska Fudge Co. We just had some yummy fish and chips. We're just shopping around. Maybe go to a bookstore, question yeah. mark? Because you guys know, we can never be too far away. We love looking at all the jelly cats. So Order for the night. Let's go. <gasps> okay. Izumi blocks us. <laughs> Four three. That sounds more like it. Are you sure about that one? Hello. Can I place an order? Okay. Yes. That's fine. Thank you. Bye. Oh. She said she's gonna call right back. <laughs> Hello. Hello? Hi. Yes, please. Uh, can I get two miso soups 
a shrimp firecracker spring roll. So we just placed an order for Zumi. I'm so sorry, I've barely like talked to the camera and updated today, but we were in Juno today and we had a very chill day, just shopping around, had some fish and chips. You guys saw that, got a chocolate chip cookie. And then we came back on board and I wanna show you um, what I got when I was in Juno. <laughs> I bought a pillow spray. It's lavender and chamomile. I have my little pillow spray, but it's running out. So now I have a new one and then I bought Throne of Glass because I'm gonna start the series and I've read the prequel. If you're going to ask, I've read Assassin's Blade, but I think it's time to get into the series, but also don't yell at me if I don't finish it, but I really do wanna get into it because I've heard really good things. Eve <laughs> is like literally almost done with Aka War. Yeah, Aka War. Aka War. <laughs> Let's go pick up our sushi. I love this book. Read me another happy one. The things that are constant. Love the sunlight, love the feeling of a soft blanket wrapped around you. Engulf yourself in books and watch documentaries about things you've always wondered about. There will not always be someone by your side, but there will always be something to love, I promise. I like that one. That's cute. Hope she never allows another unworthy soul to hold her instead. Period. Period. I My favorite have one. a question. Uh -huh. So when you say period, because you call it full stop. Uh huh. So would you be like period? I would say period because I know that what it means. Yeah. In... But would would you just be like full stop? Full. Sometimes I go full, full stop. Full stop. <laughs> but sometimes stop I do that. say that. I say full stop. The sunset reminds me every day that not everything you fall in love with will last forever. That's my favorite one. That's really good. It's so hot. <laughs> we got our zoomy. Good morning. It's drill day. We have about 10 minutes till we start drill, so I'm just gonna get ready, make myself look decent, and then head over to drill. Bravo, bravo. Zone 6, port side, in front of copy number 42802. Imagine that was your card in. Yeah, that would suck. Kilo, kilo, kilo. Uh, kilo, kilo, kilo. Stop kilo, kilo. This is where we split off. Bye. Enjoy. We're now in Skagway. I'm here with Claude's and Abby. I'm just gonna go sit at a little cafe and edit. And grab a bagel. I'd rather do it off the ship than do exactly that on the ship. Hey, I feel like this week is a bit unrealistic because Eve is injured, so she's on board. But normally she's attached at my hip. <laughs> so normally she would be here. And then maybe she'll meet us depending on how her medical goes. So I guess we'll see that. Time to go to our favorite cafe. Glacier Co. Glacial Coffee Co. Glacial baby. Coffee Co. Yeah. <laughs> Hey guys! She's back. I'm here. We went to the public library to try to get some Wi-Fi and turns out it's Memorial Day so it's the only day they're not open. But that's okay. We're gonna go get some more coffee. <laughs> and try to actually do work this time because I wasn't productive and did not edit at all. So I love to yap and I don't get anything done. had some dinner with Eve, just got out of the shower, and it's 9.15, I cannot believe it's 9.15. Look what it looks like outside. It is still 
super bright sun is still out alaska sunsets are so late here so i feel like i don't know it's still daytime I was thinking about going to the gym can't be bothered I was thinking about going to the sauna also can't be bothered so i think i am just going to have a lazy night and edit and read <laughs> i want to wake up early for the glacier tomorrow morning What's yeah up? last time we got up there at like 6 30 and there wasn't much but what if like the one morning we miss it i know it's the then it's rushing. like the best glacier day Glacier day, even though as you guys could see there was no glacier because there was just fog. I've had a productive morning, did my laundry, read a big chunk of my book, even took a little power nap as well. Got my clothes out of the laundry, put it away, and now it's time for dance class. We're going to take Carrie's contemporary class, which I'm so 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 excited for, and I'm gonna bring you guys along so you can see the combo. Let's go, Christine! Beauty. I'm on vlogging duties. <laughs> just fueled my soul that was so 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 fun thank you so much carrie because that class was amazing and it was to a noah khan song and if anyone knows me i love noah khan 
it's now one o'clock. I'm going to make the rest of the day a productive day and there's nothing else on the schedule. I already feel pretty productive since I got all my laundry done this morning and now I need to do a lot of editing. So I'm gonna go do that in the cafe. I'm really gonna try to finish my book. I'll tell you guys about it when I finish it. Right now it's time for a shower, then a snack, and then we'll keep going on with our productive sea day. Still I just made myself some oats. I mixed in some chocolate protein powder and then some fruits, almond butter, and this is like such a good little snack. If you guys watched my romanticizing ship life video, I kind of talked a bit about the truth of the food on the ship and how I do struggle because the food is just like the quality is not that good and there's not a whole lot of variation. I've been trying to find some things that I can make in my cabin that fuel me and give me some good energy and also keep me full. This is one of my little staples that I've been making so far. One of my friends is going to send me something and he's the one that got me on these like oat bowls on the ship and I think it's like a mocha flavored greens powder. He didn't tell me, he said it's a surprise, but that's what I think it is. Let's see, I'll keep you updated if I get that. I'll also keep you updated on some healthy snacks that I learned to make on the ship. There's just not a lot of space in the fridge. It's just kind of hard. I'm trying to figure out things that Eve and I would like and would be easy to make in the cabin. So yeah, this is a good, healthy lunch and it's gonna keep me full today. Oh my gosh, someone saw whales. They put it in the group chat. I gotta get dressed all warm and cozy and try to go spot the whales before they go away. Okay, ah, let's go see whales. I hope we see them. Never mind. Eve says they're gone. So there's no point in going up. Well, I'm gonna go meet up with Eve anyways because I need to go edit in the cafe. She's probably reading. This dinosaur holding books. I got these three dinosaurs because it's like me, LJ, and Eve. Read more books, of course. Adventure awaits because it reminds me of Alaska. Only really picked this one because of the Luke's coffee cup and I love Gilmore Girls with a bunch of books. Read more, of course. Love this one. I think this is my favorite. This little one with a bunch of books. Thanks, Katie. Just got so much work done in the cafe. Completely finished my Q&A video with LJ and then we both proof watched it and liked it so I got it downloaded now I can upload that when I'm hopefully in Victoria and then post it the next day when I'm in Seattle that is the struggle of doing YouTube while you're on a ship you have to like upload on a port day that has good data so then I can just schedule it to upload whenever I need it to upload it's 6 p.m. but me and Eve are starving so we're gonna go get some dinner yeah see you there Well, I fell asleep, I went to dinner, and then I fell asleep, and now it's 9.22. But I'm gonna go to Slop Chest because I've been so excited for them to open all day. So I'm gonna go there and get a snack. <gasps> I found Katie hey. and she's making fun of me. She's so sleepy. <laughs> Look at her little eyes. <laughs> when I wake up from a nap, I'm like in a whole nother dimension. Yeah, I can tell. I came to LJ's. <laughs> she scared me. So I'm currently reading Inheritance by Nora Roberts and it's about like a haunted house. <laughs> the guy just goes, thinks he's talking to another character, but the line just went, but it wasn't Sonia. And then I just hear, and I'm like, <laughs> I literally jumped out of my skin. Well, I came to give her a little slop chest haul. I went to slop chest. Did you? I got. Pineapple, al pineapple aloe vera. I got some Lay's salt and vinegar. Twin snakes are favorite. Oh yeah, they are. Tim Tams. Dark chocolate Tim Tams. I have caramel ones. Mm -hmm. I like the dark chocolate, but thank you. Who's sweet and who's sour? I think it depends on the on the time. Yeah, actually it does. Sometimes yeah. I'm the sweet one. Sometimes 
I'm the sour one. Likewise. I think right now you're sweet, I'm so I, I think so. <laughs> I'm about to put on my stickers that Katie gave us. I'm gonna put them on my new water bottle. Also realized tonight is an hour forward, which means it's currently 12.21, but it's actually 1.21, which kind of sucks. But I've had two naps today, so I feel really lazy. It's been a productive, slash also feels like a lazy day. The productivity is like I got a lot of reading done and a whole video done and edited, so that feels great. Then I also feel kind of lazy, but it's because I was just on my computer all day. But tomorrow is dream day, and we've got to go over a few things tomorrow because Eve won't be in it. Can we tell them that you're signed off? Yeah. So unfortunately, Eve is signed off duty as of right now. Won't be for long. Just until but... I get it sorted out. Yeah, she's just a little injured. Yeah. You've got faith it'll be fine. It happens. What a sucky time to do a week in my life video. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Eve's worst this week in not, her life. Yeah. Basically, if you're signed off duty because of an injury, you can't get off the ship or honestly really do anything <laughs> at all. Besides just kind of sit and recover. Hopefully, tomorrow is the only show Eve's not in. I wanted to show the stickers that I got from Katie today. Yeah. I put them on my Kindle. So I got this one that says, boo, There's... two little ghosts. And then this one that looks like a jelly cat, I think. It's a little, little plant, plant pot reading a book. And then a bookshelf. And then this one that says read more books. Books are better than people. Oh yeah, and then Christine got me this the other day when I couldn't get off. It says, what if it all works out? Yep. Because what if it does? Everything might work out. <laughs> might. We don't know yet. Maybe. So everyone comment down below. Feel better soon, Eve. <laughs> Send me all the good wishes. <laughs> I get so many comments of people loving your accent. Oh. Guys. Isn't it adorable? I try to copy it sometimes and I just don't <laughs> sound the same as <laughs> I'll give you a sticker haul, actually. That one says read more. This one says Sunrise Shack. That was the acai bowl place we went to in Honolulu. And then this is me, Eve, and LJ reading. This one says Rather Be Reading. We bought that in Picton, New Zealand at a little bookstore. Juno. This is from a long time ago, but this is when I was on Odyssey, the Dominican Republic. I just had that sticker. Taronga Zoo in Sydney. Yeah, that's all I have right now. I'm gonna say goodnight, and I'll see you guys tomorrow in the morning for day six. Right? Day six of the cruise. Yeah. Night, guys. Night. <laughs> <laughs>see how this tech run goes there's a lot of especially the female dancers have like new tracks to learn for this show it's always a bit difficult but that's kind of the fun part about being a professional dancer is we get put on the spot and have a bunch of extra pressure added on us and now we have two shows tonight where it's gonna be completely different than it usually is that's reblox let's get to tech run today i got burger cheese fries and pasta salad you guys know i love some pasta salad here we are at lunch Today is um, 
what do you call it? Today's fitness photo day and as a little rule that we have, we have to submit our safety observations every time we do our fitness photos. And a safety observation is something we do every month. You have to find something that was safe or unsafe around the ship and report it. I'm doing, I saw a costume rack blocking a fire exit and therefore I moved it. That is me being safe because safety What's the the thing? No, safety is everyone's business. Yeah. <laughs> so I have to write my little safety observation and then submit it in tonight when we do fitness photos. Ovation of the seas. Cruise safe act because I responded safely. Done. Safety of the day check. Also, I'll let you guys know I got interviewed for an article and they just posted the article on Royal Caribbean blog. It's me living on the ship and like what ship life is like. I'll link the article down below. I'm gonna read it through now. Guess where we're at? The cafe. Again, like we are every single moment of the day. Today I have to do a training because we're on board so long that our trainings expire. I need to go do an enterprise data management training. This is the reality of a sea day, especially like between tech run and a show day. We're just chilling and you guys know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do some editing. Eve's gonna do some reading. <laughs> Started this book yesterday, it's really good. I can't put it down. Oh, I finished The Great Alone. I'll give you guys an update on that, what I thought about it. Five stars. Me. Five stars. Oh, five stars. Okay. Five stars. I'm gonna read this and then I'm gonna read Great Alone. Yeah, highly recommend. But I'll tell you guys more about that later. All right, let's go do this training. from editing and stuff from the cafe. I just took a shower and it's time to get ready for dream. It's currently 5.30. This is usually when I start getting ready. Call time's at 6.30, but we have fitness photos at 6.30, so I kind of need to speed it up. While I'm getting ready, I just wanted to tell you about the book that I just read. I've actually had quite a bit of people who've recommended me to read Kristen Hanna's books. I decided to read The Great Alone because Eve has it. It's set in Alaska. Obviously, I'm currently set in Alaska, so I thought that would be fun to read while I'm here. And I wish I got some sort of warning of how this book was going to rip my heart out of my chest. Like there wasn't a huge plot. It was more just like following this girl and her family and her life. Wow, I was so hooked. I feel like those characters are real. Five out of five stars. I really, really enjoyed the book and especially reading it in Alaska just like hit really hard for me because I love Kristen Hanna's writing and so she would say like the snow covered mountains, whatever. And while I was reading on deck seven, I could just look up and it's exactly the setting that she's describing in the book, which was just like such a fun experience. And I love reading books that kind of correlate to where I'm at. But after finishing a book that I felt so invested in, I think it's time to go into the Throne of Glass series. It's kind of like a bucket list series for me to read and I know it's so well loved so I've just always been a little scared that I'm not going to be as attached as everyone else who's read it is attached to the series. I think I'm out of my little reading slump that I had when I first got on board so I think that now is the time to read it or at least start you know i can always take a break it's time to get into the throne of glass universe i'm a bit scared but i'll keep you updated in my vlogs also this is just like we're on facetime this is what i would talk about if we were on facetime right now but obviously my wi-fi doesn't really let me facetime well it's a sea day what are some life updates that are going on clearly I'm in Alaska. I'm really loving it. I'm loving Alaska season a lot more than I expected to. I think because I've been here before, I came to Alaska on a cruise when I was 16 and I have such amazing memories from Alaska, but a lot different being here so much older, eight years later. Loving it, I'm loving the nature. I'm so excited to go on more hikes and stuff throughout the contract and especially when the sun comes out even more. Each week we've been here it's been like warmer and warmer and even though it's been like a little rainy but I mean it's fine. We embrace the rain, we embrace the cold. Honestly any itinerary whether it's like extremely hot or extremely cold you just have to embrace it because last summer I was in the med and oh my gosh it was so hot like 
sometimes over 100 degrees. You just have to embrace it. You're in these places. Embrace the hot, embrace the cold, embrace wherever you are, and you'll be able to make the most of it. And thankfully, as you can probably tell, I have a lot of friends with very similar mindsets. We're just always happy to be here, easy to work with, embrace wherever we are in the world. People who see the good in every situation, that is like the kind of people I like to surround myself with. Also, speaking of super happy people and friends and all, I get some comments sometimes. I think people think that me and Shay are no longer friends just because she's not on this contract. If you guys don't know, Shay was one of my best friends my last contract on Odyssey and you guys loved her. But yeah, no, we're still besties. I love her to pieces. She's in Vegas living her best life and until our paths cross again, which I really hope is soon I'm trying to get her to come sail on ovation So everybody just comment and tell Shay she needs to come on ovation and come visit because I miss her so much And she is such a bright light in my life Unfortunately, she's not on this contract with me, but I have other friends She has other friends and we're both loving our lives in different places. Definitely do miss her. We're still besties don't worry about that. Yeah, what other life updates? Honestly, I've just been getting into the routine of Alaska, kind of learning new things to do every port since we only really just got here. We've been here less than a month. You guys seem to really enjoy my Alaska video, which I posted this week. And yeah, I got so many recommendations. If you guys have any other Alaska recommendations, definitely leave them in the comments down below because I do write them down. I wanna go do a lot of those things if I haven't done them already or plan to do them in the future. Still kind of on a high from Carrie's class yesterday. That was so much fun and I feel like I don't really get the freedom to dance like that all the time. So it was very refreshing. I just posted the reel of it on my Instagram. So you guys can check that out on my Instagram if you wanna see the full video like with the actual song, not a copyright free song over the top of it. for fitness photos so I've got my little safety observation time to go turn it in and then do fitness photos are you ready so ready explosion so I have a while thank you hi everybody this is my raggedy Ann wig this is Tassie's real hair I think it looks really cute yes yeah, because we've just washed them oh my god <laughs> literally like cannot <laughs> breathe right now Bridgerton the ladies are not allowed to breathe or blink or do anything wait don't put it all the way tight because if not I can't breathe wait. what happens is if I clip it there, then I come off for hit me up and I'm like, <laughs> like I can't breathe. Wait, is that um, what you do? Yeah. Wait, I got it. Can you breathe? Yeah. <laughs> Mine's even Bridgerton. popping out the side. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it it is so Bridgerton. Oh my gosh, I really hope I don't mess this show up. You're not. Fun fact, does your tongue ever get um, itchy when you're nervous? Um, every time I say that to someone, they're like, I literally don't know what you're talking about. And ever since I've been born, it. ever since I was little, every time I'm nervous or I'm about to go on stage, my tongue gets really itchy. I just scratch it with my teeth. Like every time I give a speech in school. No, I, I get a dry, stage, I, I get like a dry throat, like I can't breathe type uh, thing. Everyone has like a different, I feel that about my hip hop breakdown. <laughs> You're the hip hop queen of the club, <laughs> so I don't know what you're talking about. Da, 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 da. All right, I'm, we gotta go. I'm fully aware. See ya. See ya after the show. <laughs> Done with second show. Yeah, yeah. Woo! I'm tired. <laughs> it's show food time, and it's Lockie's half birthday today. Okay. Happy birthday, Lock! Happy half birthday. Happy birthday.
Oh no, wait, yes you are. <laughs> Just found a crew sales happening. Look at what we're selling. It's a sale for a crew to buy like perfumes, um, purses, watches, stuffed animals, stuffed animals, merch, like so much at like a very discounted rate. We're at the crew sale today. Today we have some alcohol, we have some watches, we have lots of perfume, some jackets. It's so much fun. Let's show them around. So many watches. Yep. Hey guys, I just finished my two show night of Beautiful Dream. Um, finished show food, finished celebrating Lockie's half birthday. We celebrate half birthdays sometimes because there's a few people in the cast whose birthdays don't align within the contract, so we celebrate their half birthday. My shows tonight went well. Um, since they were a reblock, it was a different show for pretty much everybody. So, so sad Eve was not in the show. I'm hoping and praying that she'll be in next week and that her injury is very minor and there's nothing else that she needs to do besides resting it. So please send prayers her way. Since we had such a different reblocked show, of course there's like little stumbles and mishaps here and there. And they're very, very minor. Like if you were just watching it for the first time, I'm sure you would never notice, but us as perfectionist dancers definitely do. So yeah, I just really really enjoy doing the beautiful dream it's such a beautiful show if you've ever had the chance to watch it or ever do have the chance to watch it highly highly recommend it's so beautiful the second show i really like soaked in and looked at the audience and saw so many people shedding tears yeah it's just such a beautiful show i'm so thankful to be in it and get to like witness that it's so fulfilling dancing a show like that and something that really makes an impact on the audience i'm about to go up to deck seven and watch the stars with eve we do that once in a while and just chat and look at the stars tomorrow we are in victoria canada and i'm actually in the works of making a video dedicated to victoria so as much as i would love to bring you guys tomorrow i think i'm going to leave you hanging just a little bit so that you get a whole video about victoria because that will be coming very soon i already know that this vlog is pretty long might be one of my longest therefore i just want to say thank you so much especially if you made it to this point of the video can you comment down below what your occupation is if you have a job I would love to know what you guys do I love to get to know like my followers interests and what they get up to where they're from and stuff like that so yeah comment down below what you do for a living as of today filming this right now I'm almost about to hit 18,000 subscribers and if I just think of where I was this time last year I hadn't even hit a thousand subscribers yet and so that is just insane to me like the amount of things that have happened to me in the past year and the amount of opportunities that my YouTube channel has brought me and the amount of friends and like relationships that this has brought really really warms my heart so thank you so much for being here and if you haven't already make sure you like comment and subscribe click that bell so you're notified every time I make a post make sure you follow my Instagram so you stay tuned on where I am in the world and wherever you are in the world I hope you're having the very best day. I'll see you in the next video.